Six on your side tonight. We are working to get answers for a business owner who says for the last six months, construction near Pepper Place has been impacting her bottom line. Riley Hightower owns the lumbar and says this project is taking a toll on her business and her customers. Your WBRC reporter Bria Chapman is live in Birmingham and on your side asking questions about how long this project will take. Bria. Yes, Aaron Josh, I'm right here in front of where this construction is happening, and this is actually where the lumbar, lumbar used to have an outdoor patio. And owner Riley Hightower tells me they were forced to remove that back in January for a construction project that did not begin until months later. Now the city leaders tell me that the Second Avenue Complete Streets project, it includes improvements to bike lanes, lighting, and drainage. Then construction actually didn't start in front of our space until three months later. So we, we had prime patio season in February, March, April that everybody loves to go out and visit their favorite patios in Birmingham and we did not have one and we also did not have any construction going on in front of us. Riley Hightower has owned the Lumbar and Pepper Place since 2019 and after surviving the changes and problems throughout the pandemic a few years ago and now as most businesses are bouncing back, Hightower says they're facing another hurdle. We actually had a busier spring in COVID, a busier first half of the year during COVID than we have this year because of this project. And so far, Hightower says she hasn't gotten an answer on when the project will be finished, but she does know construction work will move closer to her front door. The logistics of how we're going to be able to stay open, it's going to be nearly impossible. There's no way that, that the entirety of 29th Street can be blocked off. And again, not only are we the only food and beverage establishment in Pepper Place without a patio area, we're the only establishment on 29th Street that only has one entrance for patrons. And I heard from a Birmingham spokesperson about an hour ago who tells me the project began last year and was projected to last about a year. Now, it is it's expected to be substantially completed and by the end of the month. Now, I'll put that complete statement in this story on the WBRC News app. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.